Lesson 13 involves kind of wrapping everything up. And so uh, we do have a discussion on the impact of design on website appeal. This goes along with one of our significant learning outcomes in this course. And instead of requiring you guys to do a paper, uh, I am having you post to the discussion forum. So this is pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna to wanna to add your topic, address the talking points, and then reply to a couple classmates. And all of these are worth points. And then once you finish that, uh, quiz three will be open. Uh, this is a cumulative quiz uh, designed to help prepare you for your certification. It'll be set up the same way the other ones were where you can take it three times and it will use your highest score. Uh, then you'll notice that at the end of this week, it is the 25th and that is when your project is due. So you're going to want to add uh, done to the Dropbox. Make sure you have that project linked into your assignment page. And then you are going to wanna to do your final commit to GitHub. Once you complete all of that, you are going to submit your showcase. Uh, and the instructions are here. This is very similar to what you've done before, but this time you're gonna demonstrate all three games. Uh, and as far as your slideshow goes, you should be able to just edit that and kind of add on. So you should have a lot of this done. You would be adding on, you know, the second and third game and overall what you learned in this project. That needs to be submitted by the 25th. And then, uh, you have until the end of the semester to review your classmates and you can review eight to 10 of them. Uh, and what I would like you to do is just name the game. So your classmates all did three games each. So name one of their games and indicate what you liked about the game. And then if there's any suggestion you have for improvements in future releases, let them know. Uh, then we have our ePortfolio, which I think you are all familiar with by now, but if you are not, um, you can use a platform for this like LinkedIn or WordPress, Wix, Weebly, any of those. We recommend LinkedIn. And if you already have a LinkedIn, then all you really need to do is add your project to it. So it'll look kind of like this. And then you'll have a link where you have C project. That'll be a link to your GitHub repository. Okay? And you may also want to include the website here. Okay, So that's what I'm looking for. If you do not have any kind of ePortfolio, then you're gonna to wanna to create a brand new one. And this video shows you how to do that. And here's an example of how that could look. Uh, if you want a video on how to create the project here, there is a video showing you how to do that as well. And that is the last required activity of this week. If you run into problems or if you have questions about anything, please let me know and have a great week.